what's going on everybody david here and i'm back with another video today's video is going to be my 4k blu-ray dvd horror movie collection um there's a lot here in preparation of this video i started you know uh gathering all my horror movies together and putting them on the, uh my table here and um i have a lot like you really can't you can't see it but i strategically placed them around uh on this table here so that way they'd be out of frame um, so that way we can focus on, on each one at hand. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, th there won't be too, too much explanation into each title unless, um, it's, it's a very quick one. Or if it's something special, a uh, special title to me, um, I might go in depth just a little bit further on that. But for all intents and purposes, like I said, we're, it's just going to be one by one real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, Fear the Walking Dead, the complete first season. Love that show. Fear the Walking Dead, the complete second season. Second season uh, actually got better than the first season. The Walking Dead, the complete first season. Still one of my favorite shows. I I, I love it so much. People, A lot of people have said that they, they dropped off on it, but I'm still staying strong. The Walking Dead, the complete second season. Um, this is like a, a, a trifold, like digibook kind of deal. Um, it came in a uh, special edition. Uh, the Zombie Head. I have the zombie head around here somewhere. But yeah, this is the only one I have, unfortunately. I, I really I like the look of them because they're it's it's all embossed right here. But um yeah, hopefully I can I can snag some of the other ones, uh some of the other special editions eventually. Walking Dead the complete third season. Alright. That that's a that's a good one. That's one of my favorites. This one too. Fourth season. Walking Dead, the complete fifth season. Walking Dead, the complete sixth season. With the very controversial finale. Right? And then Walking Dead, the complete seventh season. Megan, that's my man right there. Love that dude. All right, next up. Victor Frankenstein. Written by Max Landis, I believe. This one was okay. I thought it was a decent movie. The Quiet Ones. I, You know what? Honestly, I know I've seen it. I don't remember too much of it. So that may say a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Supernatural, the complete 12th season. I'm actually watching this one currently. It's pretty fun. I like it. Joyride 3, Roadkill. This one was okay. I mean, it's Joyride. Joyride, I still love the first one. The first one, fun fact, is actually one of my very first DVDs that I ever bought. Ever. <laughs> uh, Rosemary's Baby. This is the, the TV miniseries. Sorry, Zoe Saldana. That one was okay, too. Housebound. This one was odd. I, I didn't know exactly um, if it was a horror or a comedy. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of odd. I like it. Speaking of odd, odd Thomas, <laughs> with this cool lenticular cover here. Man, this one, I really like this one a lot. This one was a fun movie to watch. Rest in peace, Anton Yelchin. Underworld, the first Underworld. This is uh, that pop art steel book from Best Buy. Zombie Hunter, starring Danny Trejo. <laughs> if it stars Danny Trejo, it... I mean, it's self-explanatory. It was okay, though. It was, it was a decent, fun, low-budget horror movie. Uh, the Last Exorcism Part 2. This one's okay. I I, I, I don't mind these. Uh, there was a time that there was an overabundance of them coming out. It was always the exorcism this or the exorcism that. The last exorcism of whoever. Uh, but that one was okay. Um, one of the best documentaries... Uh, I've ever seen a, of uh, Friday the 13th horror documentary Crystal Lake Memories love it if you have not picked this up definitely do so fantastic fantastic documentary I want to say that this one's like man, this was like three or four hours or something like that really great they were they were gracious enough to send that to me uh, for review Ash vs. Evil Dead the complete first season this is that lenticular slip that messes I almost said the F word <laughs> messes with my uh, my vision but really cool love that show digging up the marrow 
this was a really good movie too. Uh, I'm a a big fan of uh, of Adam Green and his uh, his directing. So fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, movie to watch. Grindhouse this is a two disc collector's edition. This one's really fun. Has Planet Terror and uh, and Death Proof. The inside there. This is I I really like this this slip cover to it too. If you can see there, and then it has this kind of pull pull out deal. Love it. They needed. I really wish that they would have made like another Grindhouse movie. But then after that movie came out, just they started re-releasing all these old Grindhouse movies and t trying to take advantage of, I guess the uh, the timing of it all. And they probably just got uninterested. Um, next up, Dracula Untold. This was. This is. I don't even. You know what? I don't even qualify this as a horror movie. Really, it really shouldn't be in here. But it is Dracula. Dracula's a, a, a horror. Uh, character um, this is more of an action movie and this was supposed to be the start of that universal monster uh, cinematic universe thing um, and it just didn't happen wolf cop very very self-explanatory he's a he's a werewolf that's a cop <laughs> this was a really fun movie though I, I enjoyed it ritual this one was very odd it's a tales from the crypt presents type of movie um, and it, it was good, interesting, but very odd. Uh, I believe it had to do with a lot like, uh, with voodoo and stuff like that. And like the, the voodoo zombies type of thing. It was interesting. 10 Cloverfield Lane. This is, uh, the, I believe it's a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. This one was really good. I loved it. I love Cloverfield. Uh, I love this one just the same. It's, it was so different, but yet still in the same vein you know, of, of uh, the Cloverfield movies. Purge Anarchy. Uh, the Purge movies, uh, they're just, they're a fun watch. You know, I mean, they're, they're not bad. Um, a lot of them are, are fairly similar as far as the, the premise goes. You know, you're surviving a night. Uh, but it's a fun movie. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the, the remake one. Um, it was an okay watch. I do feel like they relied a little too much on uh, on CGI, but I love Freddy. I love Freddy Krueger. Still one of my favorite horror iconic uh, iconic horror characters. Let's see here, Holliston. This is what season season, uh, season two, and this is uh, it stars Adam Green and Joe Lynch, which are, again two of uh, some of the best directors that I I really enjoy out there. And this is their their like uh, their sitcom horror uh, horror sitcom show. Really good. It's really fun. Um, and this is a title that you guys may have heard me talk about in the past, how weird it was. And it's Horsehead. Uh, this is like a... It's it's by Artsportation Films, so it, right then and there, it, it tells you a lot. It's an art horror art house movie with a, um, I guess like a serial killer ghost thing that has a horse head. <laughs> I know, it's weird, it's odd, but it's pretty good. Shot really well, too. Uh, Saw, the final chapter. The Saw movies, I enjoy the Saw movies. They're, they're like, uh, I guess, I don't want to say a guilty pleasure because I do enjoy them legitimately. Um, they're, they're not the best horror movies out there, and they kind of uh, tend to, I guess, go across the same type of tropes, horror tropes, but they are very fun. They are very imaginative, I will say that. Uh, Kaltiki, the immortal monster. <laughs> this is an Arrow Films release. Uh, Arrow always does great stuff, man. Pulse. This is uh, another Arrow release. This one was really good. I forgot how good it was. I hadn't seen it in so long. Um, really, really fun movie. And this is uh, the, uh, the original version, the Japanese version of this movie. Pulse. Starring Kristen Bell. This one was okay too. I, I enjoyed it at the time when it came out. But in comparison to the original. This one just like went way off. Uh, but I do like it nonetheless. Like when I say way off. I don't mean like in a bad way. I mean it just kind of. It didn't. Um, they didn't completely remake the Japanese version. Is what I'm saying. So it's, it's a good thing really. 4K of Alien Covenant. Very fun movie. Loved it. It had its its moments, I will be honest, but 
for the most part, I really enjoyed it. All right. Resident Evil Afterlife. <sighs> I'll just leave it like <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Scream Four. Scream movies are always fun. Beyond the Black Rainbow. Fun fact: This is the first ever movie that I reviewed for CinemaDeviant.com. This is when I first started my uh, my horror site or my horror site, my my film site, my film review website, and. Uh, this was one of the first movies that they ever sent me to to review. That I was sent for review, and um, I remember popping it in, and I just thought, "What the hell is this? <laughs> it's so crazy." Um, if you're like um, like into like trippy movies and stuff like that, um, you know, or it, this almost reminded me a little bit like, oh man, what's the movie? Like the the style, the look of it reminded me of, of like a Stan, Stanley Kubrick. Type of movie like 2001 Space Odyssey reminded me a lot of uh, of that, but it was very interesting. I watched it. I remember the first time I watched it, I had the the thought like, "What the hell did I watch?" The second and third time I watched it, I was like, "Okay, I, I can appreciate it a bit more with with uh, with new, a newer perspective." I guess you could say. Very odd. I'm gonna show you the back here just so that way you guys can, uh, if you guys are curious, you guys can check it out. Very, very odd movie, but pretty interesting. Microwave Massacre. Burying the X. This is another uh, Anton Yelchin movie with Ashley Green and Alexandria Daddario. Really fun. <laughs> really, really fun. This is a good movie. Horror comedy. The Perfect Husband. To, on <laughs> this is to love, honor, and slay. 30 Days a Night. Love this movie. They legit should have made like a legit sequel. Um, and not like, you know... I, I didn't really enjoy the, the sequel that they did uh, bring come out with. I think it was like called 30 Days a Night Dead Days, I believe. Uh, didn't really enjoy that one. This one, I love so much. Still one of my favorite horror movies. Lights Out. Great movie. Based on, on a short film. Really fun. The Eyes of My Mother. This is another interesting film, totally in black and white, um, and you guys got to check it out. I don't want to go too, too in-depth about it, but real quick, there's the back if you want to pause it. Good movie. Really weird. The Signal. You know, and this one, I guess it's, it's in here, but it's more of like a sci-fi type of movie, so I really wouldn't qualify it as a complete horror movie, but it does have, I think, a few horror elements in it. All right, Psychomania, The Crazies, the remake of The Crazies. Uh, this one was a fun one. I liked that one a lot. Devils Do. Uh, this one was a, a found footage type of movie. I'm not a huge, huge fan of found footage movies, but that one was okay. Never Sleep Again, The Elm Street Legacy. This is a documentary on uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Really, really well done. Um, this one and uh, Crystal Lake Memories, two staples that every horror fan needs to have in their collection. Fantastic. The Town That Dreaded Sundown. This is a remake of the, uh, I believe it was a 60s movie or 70s movie. I want to say 70s. But really, really good. Reminded me a lot of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Not Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 2. The Drownsman. Very odd. The Machine, uh, like a sci-fi horror, I guess you could say. My Soul to Take, Wes Craven movie. Rest in peace, Wes Craven. Right? Where am I going? Knock, knock. This is like a horror thriller. Uh, more leaning on the thriller side, but does have a lot of horror elements in there. Um, Keanu Reeves, I... I enjoyed it. Not a lot of people did, but I, I actually enjoyed it. That's an Eli Roth uh, movie, mind you. The Pyramid. It's another found footage movie. This one was okay. Again, not a huge fan of found footage movies. This one was, was pretty decent, though. Dead Snow 2, Red vs. Dead. <laughs> this one's good. <laughs> Kill Your Friends. It's basically a, uh, American, an American Psycho kind of shtick. 
uh, but except he's not a business guy or he's not a Wall Street guy. He's a record label exec or uh, A and R guy at a record label. The initiation. Dark Water, fantastic uh, Japanese original. Brain damage. Don't breathe. And we all know about the turkey baster scene at the end. If you don't know, well, now you know. Go look it up. <laughs> Slugs. Such a fun movie. I, I, remember, I remember this movie when I was younger. Green Inferno. Very visceral. Visceral is kind of... Visceral is a word uh, to say. Uh, very visceral type of a horror movie. Eli Roth movie. This one. 2359. This is a... a Thai horror movie. Um, interesting. I'll say that. Phoenix Forgotten. This is, I guess you could say, like a uh, sci-fi horror. Uh, found footage movie. This one was okay. Um, not as great as I thought it was going to be. But it was an interesting watch. 31. The controversial 31. Uh, controversial, I say, because it took them so long to, to get a, a, a proper rating for this movie. This one's fun, too. Rob Zombie movie. They're always fun. Uh, a four pack. Uh, is Hostel. Hostel 2. Hollow Man and Hollow Man 2. All great movies. Let's see here. Poker Night. Uh, this one had some okay moments. But it was so so. Martin. is an interesting uh, take from George Romero on the uh, vampire type of you know mythos. Vampire stories. Really interesting. Another Hostel. This is uh, the director's cut of Hostel. I got this when it first came out. Um, it feels like heavy. I don't know. I guess it's because it has like the dual thing in here. It felt, it felt like it had some weight to it. thought maybe it was like a bonus disc or something. But yeah. Um, first one was a really fun movie to watch. Um, it was very different. Uh, but uh, second one. Second one was good too. It wasn't as good as the first one. I will say that. That's what I want to say. The Crazies. The original George Romero uh, movie. Fantastic. The first Resident Evil. I'm going to have this on DVD. I got this when it first came out. Speak No Evil. Um, this one is more of like a um, Children of the Corn ripoff. But it was okay. Zombie World. A, a total ripoff of Zombieland. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the Devil Lives Here. This one was an interesting one. I'll keep it at that. Alright. Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is uh, one of my favorite horror movies to watch in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I will say that. I mean, not Thanksgiving and Christmas. During Halloween and Christmas. So around the Thanksgiving time. Chupacabra versus the Alamo. <laughs> Alright. It's starring um, uh, Eric Estrada. So, uh, it kind of tells you a lot right there. But, I will say, for some odd reason, this movie is, um, is one of my, like, most, uh, read reviews on CinemaDeviant.com. So, <laughs> and, and I always see a spike in viewership or, or in readers whenever they are showing it on TV. <laughs> whenever it comes out on the Sci-Fi Channel or, or what have you, um... Like, I mean, hundreds and uh, hundreds of people will, will go and read the review for some odd reason. Um, Deliver Us From Evil. This was an okay horror movie. It stars uh, Olivia Munn and, uh, and Eric Bana. Interesting. Interesting movie. Another possession type of thing. Z Nation, the complete first season. Um, Z Nation is basically started off as a... Um, well, I don't want to even say started off. It was a... Um, a Walking Dead ripoff, and when I first saw that they that they were advertising the show, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. And they sent it to me for review, and I started watching it, and it's a walk. It was it's a Walking Dead ripoff. It really was. There's just like him, guy from uh, and I can't remember his name, uh, right off the top of my head, but him, he uh, he's basically like a, a Rick Grimes character. He really is. But 
there's a twist that happens like throughout the season that like it, it thinks you you think it's going in a certain direction and then they just like change it up on you and it caught me off guard a little bit but it wasn't um uh, it wasn't as bad as i i, I thought it was going to be it was, it's 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 a different take on zombies i will say that the eye another great uh great horror movie it's, it's not the best but uh it was a very, I guess, enjoyable horror movie. Resident Evil Extinction. Resident Evil Apocalypse. And this one has some weight to it, too. Uh, next up. Good Night, Mommy. Not exactly what I thought it was going to be, but uh, it was uh, interesting to watch. Crimson Peak. All right. Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete second season. This is uh, Best Buy Steel Book. Right. Life After Beth is a horror comedy. This was a fun, uh, fun watch. I know what you did last summer. I remember watching this at the movies when it first came out. The Black Coat's Daughter. Another interesting, uh, interesting watch. Very nicely done. Very nicely shot. Um, Hammer Films double feature, The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll and the Gorgon. Evil Ed. Again, Nightmare Fuel right there. Boom. That's going to stay with you forever. All right. Uh, the prequel of the thing, or prequel reimagining. It's a, it's a prequel. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one. Uh, not a lot of people did, but I enjoyed it a lot just because um, I love the thing. For one, I love the, the concept of that creature. And two, I loved how it, it connected to the original um, John Carpenter uh, movie. I thought that was a fantastic touch. Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. Now, that it, it kind of tells you exactly how the, the, the disease uh came about in this movie and um there is an interesting fight with an adult toy <laughs> at the at, at the the finale of this movie very odd why they would put that in but it, it made me laugh i don't know <laughs> clown because everybody loves clowns nowadays uh really really fun movie I, I really liked it a lot very uh very graphic very visceral very uh panicky you know, uh, you can you can almost feel the guy's like panic in his voice in in him in him himself as uh, he starts turning into this this demon clown. Gothic, uh, sorry, Halle Berry, fun movie. The other side of the door. This was a uh, you know an interesting one. I I knew nothing about this one when it came out. Watched it, not bad. Life. Um, I really like this movie a lot, even though a part of it was basically like a rehash of, of Alien, uh, but really good. I like the actor, like Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal. The Haunted World of El Super Bisto. It's a horror cartoon uh, made from from the mind of Rob Zombie. Really good. Observance. The Sacrament. This one was, this one, this one felt a little too real. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, vamp. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. See, I, I told. I mean, there, there's a lot of these. The Exorcism of, or, you know, Exorcism this. But um, this one was okay. I, I didn't think it was it was great, but I thought it was decent. Estranged. Make sure these don't fall down. I'm telling you, I have stacks everywhere. Chud too, Bud the Chud. This one I remember when I was when I was younger, uh, and watching this, I thought it was probably one of the most hilarious things I've ever seen. <laughs> Triple feature. Uh, I know what you did last summer. When a stranger calls and vacancy. Vacancy is a good one. When a stranger calls is always a good one. I remember reading stories uh, like those horror stories. Um, 
oh man, I can't remember the book, but uh, if you guys remember, it has like this creepy artwork on the front, and had a bunch of like a collection of short stories, uh, the, I guess, they had a story in there that was basically, I think it was called The Babysitter, or something like that, basically that same premise, really fun movie, Chud, the first Chud, this one was straight up like a, like a horror movie, Bud the Chud was like a, uh, done as a, a horror comedy, Madhouse, Phantasm Remastered. Creep Show 2. One of my favorite horror anthologies. I love horror anthologies. And we're going to get to some of them in this video. Uh, or in the next video, maybe. But, um, but yeah, definitely one of my favorite horror uh, horror anthology movies. Uh, Creep Show and Creep Show 2. Man, awesome. I can't say enough about them. They're really cool. The Unholy, part of the Vestron Video Collector Series. Right. Fear Clinic. This one was a good one. Uh, something that you know that has Robert England in it. That's not Freddy Krueger or Nightmare on Elm Street. So really good. Season one of Dominion. Dominion is basically a TV show based on Legion, the movie Legion. Um, and uh, I found that out, and I, I had to watch this because I like Legion a lot. I thought it was a really good movie. This one is a really interesting uh, take on that story i guess the uh, furthering the story of, of that um i want to say that they canceled it after one season <laughs> which sucks i hate it when that happens but good show decent show evil dead 2 this is the 25th anniversary edition evil dead i remember passing this up so many times in the video store when i was younger and it creeped me out every time i knew i didn't know what it was about until i got a little older and then i, I decided to check it out myself and i've loved it ever since Jezebel. This one was okay. Kind of like the evil twin type of type of deal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stop in a, in a minute with a couple more. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and cut this video short. Poltergeist, the extended cut. This is the remake. This one was okay. I thought uh, them going into, I guess, the, the ghost world or what have you was a nice touch. I liked seeing that. Because I was very curious uh, in the original movie what it looked like on the other side. So that's really cool. Tremors, Bloodlines, Tremors 5, Bloodlines. Um, I love Tremors. I don't like Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> so, to me, and I, I hear that they're doing another one with Jamie Kennedy. Uh, I just, I don't like him. Um, I feel bad, in a way, because, I mean, he's an actor, he's a comedian. But um, there's just something about him that, that just doesn't mesh well uh, with certain, certain movies. So, yeah, term, Tremors 5. Predator 3D. Cool lenticular cover. This is a 3D version. Has a Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D and DVD copy. Super cool. Love that. Resident Evil Retribution. Prometheus, one of my favorite movies in, in the Alien franchise. Really cool. Some people will say otherwise, but um, Sleepy Hollow, the complete what? Complete second season. This was okay. The show was okay. I don't know. Uh, I never. I didn't really get into it. Get into it, but I did watch this season. I thought it was okay. Like that's where the the mailman flung it at my door. Curse of Downers Grove, which is okay too. And last but not least for this video, this is this is going to be a two parter. Bates Motel season two. Love this show. Love Bates Motel. I still have yet to finish it. I'm at the last season with probably about like three episodes left and I have not had the chance to watch it yet but I definitely will and I'll, I'll, I want to get the whole set I believe it's already out it should be already be out but really great show um, fantastic acting uh, from the cast and all that anyway that's it for the first part of my uh, horror movie collection thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you guys dug any of these titles give this video a big thumbs up and you know what also, if you uh, if there's any title in here that you guys have seen and that you guys like, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I have more videos coming. Like I said, there is going to be a second part to this uh, horror movie collection, so be on the lookout for that. And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.